Our story began when the Hyperion Corporation decided they'd had enough of the treasure hunters. With the vault on lockdown, they had served their purpose, and now they were a drain on the economy. Why pay full price for weapons when you can take a five-finger discount off the nearest corpse? Hyperion was looking to clear up the drain, but those guys were one tough airball. I thought you said the treasure hunters were the drain. Now they're the airball? Uh, well, yes, uh, you see, the treasure hunters were blocking the flow of, uh, uh, and the grimy buildup of money and... Uh, this metaphor stinks. Uh, uh, shut up! Point is, Hyperion had a plan. The treasure hunters could handle all manner of beastie, bandit, and battalion, but they weren't expecting the interplanetary ninja assassin Claptrap. This Claptrap was programmed to take our boys out indirectly, trapping, poisoning, spreading catty rumors around town. Nothing was off limits. He was smart. Too smart. He looked around and didn't like what he saw. Claptraps being subjugated, humiliated, obliterated. What we call programming, he called slavery. So, he rallied his fellow Claptraps and turned them against their corporate masters. What started as a rebellion became a revolution. And take a wild guess who Hyperion called to clean up the mess. Halt. Put down your weapons. Hyperion Corporation does not wish to harm them. Sorry. 
get your team ready to go inside while I finish off. Wait. Where am I? What happened to the vault? Why is this hole here? Yeah, get down. 